Okay, so I'm going to make a little video here because I'm seeing shared around Facebook another one of those Oh my god, why doesn't it melt with my lighter videos? And today's product is Kraft American Cheese. So anybody that thought Kraft American Cheese was actually cheese probably should have read the package 20 or so years ago because it's never claimed to be cheese. It says on here that this is pasteurized prepared cheese product which doesn't sound like normal cheese to me. Um, the ingredient list is pretty damn long for something that should just be, you know, cheese. So point being, this isn't actually cheese. It's a processed product that children and my husband like. I'm also playing with mild cheddar. Um, the ingredients on the mild cheddar are cultured pasteurized milk, salt, enzymes, enzymes, sorry, artificial color, and contains milk and eggs. Well, I can't see the N. I'm assuming it says egg, but... Oh, no, it just says contains milk. So there we go. It's just, you know, what cheese is supposed to be. So the problem I have isn't that I think Kraft cheese is delicious or anything, because I actually think it's pretty nasty. The problem I have is the videos you guys are looking at are only showing the chemical reaction to using a butane lighter. Whenever you see something black and around the edge after using a butane lighter, it's because the butane produces soot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this on American cheese plus cheddar cheese. I'm going to do the same thing on my stove to see if the stupid American cheese does it actually melt or not. I don't really care if it does. Again, I think it's gross. But I'm pretty sure the video you guys are sharing around doesn't prove anything. It's just showing you what butane does. So we're going to test that out right now. First, I'm going to use, if I can get my phone right, I'm going to use the lighter on the cheese. Let's see if I can find a place to put this. Hmm, what can I stand this up on? work well enough right okay so here's butane lighter American cheese slice an internet video ew oh my god it's turning black why isn't it melting blah 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 now what you can't see is that above this it is actually melting the heat is making it more flimsy, so it's ripping out of my hand as I do this. So I'll put a little bit more on there. And it is getting that really lovely melted plastic look, which... Yeah, I'm glad I don't really eat this. Let me get that to focus. There we go. Nope. Try again. Oh, it smells awful, too. Okay. So... I'm going to try the actual cheddar cheese now to see what happens. So obviously it's a smaller piece, but I tried to the best of my ability to get the same thickness here. You know, just slicing it with a steak knife. So let's see what happens when I use the butane lighter on this. Whoa, look at that. It got way darker, way faster. So the butane is producing soot, as promised. It's also, I think, extracting the oil from the cheese. So this isn't actually melted at all. All it's really done is it's gotten a little bit of the oil out. It looks drippy, but it hasn't even dropped a single drop yet. And it's totally way blacker than this. You know, I held that under there a lot longer. So there's debunking number one. Cheese doesn't melt when you hold it with a lighter. So, and again, this is real cheese. So let's try, play with some real fire here. Okay. So, this is a natural gas stove. Obviously, I can't tell you exactly what kind of gas it is, but it's not butane. We'll try first the, I'm gonna turn the heat down so I don't burn myself. The American cheese slice. So since it started to tear, I'm gonna pull that piece off 
I'm going to hold it at the opposite end. So that's our blackened corner. I'm going to try this one, see what happens. It's sizzling. It caught on fire a little bit. And it's definitely melting. It's now attached to my stove and starting fire. So, you see the difference here. No blackened soot, just cooked corner of cheese and fire over there as it's cooking down on the actual burner. I'll try the same thing really quick with my cheddar. I've got the slimy burnt end over here. I've got the uncooked end here. And now we're going to play with fire again and see what we get. I'm going to go a little bit mm -hmm. And same deal, it's starting to melt, it's getting very liquidy right away, and it caused another melt point on the oven. So there you go. So I hope this proves to somebody other than me, because I'm, I've been reading these comments and not a single person's pointed anything out yet, it's not the cheese that's turning black, it's the butane. Okay? Alright.